Here's a fun fact. In many parts of the late Middle Ages, it was considered manly to have an hourglass figure. If you ever get the chance to look at suits of armor from the 14th to the 16th century in museums, you'll notice that a lot of them have a very small waist. Now this has an aesthetic purpose, but also a functional one. Tying a belt below your rib cage is one of the ways that a knight can distribute the weight of his upper body armor between his shoulders and his hips evenly, that way your shoulders aren't having to bear the entire weight of the armor. As the Middle Ages progress, we see this frequently used in armor design. Sooner or later, it becomes a manly trait to have a very small waist where the armor can rest on your hips. Now this is not to say you don't have your fair share of beefy boys, take the armor of Henry VIII for example. Still, throughout the Middle Ages, we continually see manly figures depicted with this hourglass figure. Now for fans of modern fantasy armor, this doesn't make the fantasy armor illegitimate. If anything, it adds a level of legitimacy to some modern fantasy armor design. Just as historical armor accented the masculine figure of the day, fantasy armor can be used to accent the masculine figure of our time. 